Hey crazies, welcome. It's been such a long time since I did a sit down story video. So by the title, you will see this video is about the dark side. And I'll be talking about prostitution, night scenes, drug, sex scandals. This will be a big troubling video. I wanted to do this video because I felt like being an entertainer, especially to aspiring artists, entertainers, you guys need to know certain things. There are things I did not know about and I wish I had a video like this where I could watch and see what's going on. Whenever I would ask someone about this topic, people would get awkward, people would just not know much about it, and people just have one-sided opinion. So the question lies, do celebrities slash ex-celebrities get put up for an offer? Do celebrities earn money or endorsement in exchange for their time? These are all the questions that I'll be answering today. But before that, I wanted to let you guys know my secret to my confidence, to my sassy attitude. Actually, I don't know if I have a sassy attitude, but you guys say I do, so. And because I'm going by the New Year, New You theme, I have been listening to self-development books on Audible. In fact, Audible is a sponsor for this video video today. Self-development books have made me bold, be confident, know what to do in certain situation, and really have been like a mentor for my life this year. My favorite self-development book that I'm reading right now is Not Nice by Dr. Aziz. This book has changed my life. It tells you how to be confident, how to say no to certain situations, how to be the boss of your own life. Audible is great because you can download it right to your phone when I'm traveling on the plane, train, car. All I do is pop my AirPods and listen and learn. Audible also has Audible Originals. Audible Originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and so much more. I personally love the Audible Originals fantasy section. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with fantasy. There's unmatched selection of audiobooks that you can listen to. And you guys get your first audiobook for free when you join Audible for 30 days. So go to audible.com slash crazygrace or text Grace to 500 500 that's so cool you can text my name and get audible like how cool is that now let's get to the dark side so like i said do celebrities get put up for an offer do celebrities in exchange for their time get endorsements or money is that typically bad should we really be looking down on these celebrities who do it have i been through it i will be sharing my personal experiences with this and to protect you guys and to change a little bit of opinion on this type of topic so you guys know i like to get my facts straight from people who have gone through it so i have my my special interviewee today now he's not going to be in the video because this is a sensitive topic exclusive so I'll be talking on behalf of him so my friend I guess in Korean I will call him like a big oppa to me he is a successful CEO businessman in Korea so having power and money he has told me that he has gotten many offers from management and if he could pay a certain amount of money in exchange they would give the celebrities time whatever that means one memorable time he remembers is that one management came up to him and asked him for fifty thousand dollars they would give him in exchange for this celebrities time and have a dinner together this celebrity he did tell me the name i'm not gonna say the name but she's very famous uh, i haven't seen her recently on tv or anything like that i'm not sure who has dinner for fifty thousand dollars but you guys know where this is going so it got me questioning three things one does she know about it? Maybe she's the one who initiated and the management is doing it for her. Number two, is she being forced to do it? Number three, does she not know at all? If she doesn't know at all, that means she's a victim and she doesn't know these things are going on behind her back. This has happened to me once. So I've been doing shows, you know, since I've debuted and there was this one time and it happened a year later, this thing has happened. So he told me a year later that the sponsor and I've met the sponsor, I know who it is he has asked if he could have a night with me for thirty thousand dollars um so like i said this happened a year later and i did not know this was going on i didn't know this was a thing i didn't know i was even even like offered at all so this got me thinking a lot of celebrities might not know this is happening it might be going on behind their back I didn't even know this was happening. If I didn't even know, look at how many celebrities offers are out there. So if this rumor goes on and on, and let's say someone found out about me, what if someone calls me a whore? What if someone calls me a prostitute? Am I a victim? Should my reputation be ruined because of this? But I didn't know about it. 
So where does that put me? You see all over the media that, you know, a lot of celebrities get caught for these prostitutions. Is this really that female celebrity's fault? Maybe she didn't have anything to do about it and just the rumor got out to the media and her reputation is completely ruined. So there's also something called the business meetings business meetings meaning like a business meeting with your sponsors future business partners and a lot of business people cater their business partner to alcohol to bars club dinners and things like that sometimes these business meetings will pay girls to come and entertain them whatever that means so a lot of these high-end business meetings involve girls that used to be ex-celebrities A has told me that he's multiple times been in business meetings where he's seen a famous ex-celebrity who once was famous maybe a couple years ago and she's now in her 30s and now she's making a living doing this and it makes you wonder are they doing this because they just want to? so as an entertainer during your teenagers, during your 20s you spend all your life singing, dancing, looking good in front of the fans and a lot of these celebrities give up school including high school college and they usually don't have a degree so now once we're in the 30s what do we do because the new generation wave comes in and all these older celebrities are treated as garbage as they're not worth the time like I said most of them might not have a college or high school degree even so can you really get a job at the corporate office can you really get a part-time job because these celebrities are still unknown so they can't really work at a cafe or at a restaurant restaurant serving. Maybe their financial situation is not good that their family can't even support them. Maybe this is the only option that they have in order to make a living. You never know one's situation or what they've been through their life. So should we really look down upon them and call them hoes, prostitutes, and just have this negative image upon them? How about those female celebrities who in exchange for their time get endorsements? I've heard numerous cases where a famous celebrity up on you know the big poster boards with big endorsements sometimes they had to exchange their time for it when I was younger I would look so down upon these things looking at them dirty why would they do that if you think about it there's a long line in entertainment world what if this was their make it or break it in their career would you have been tempted would I have been tempted also if you're an aspiring entertainer be careful of scammers there's a true story where a director has called this girl into a meeting and she was supposed to get a contract and the script for the movie now the director made the girl meet her at a hotel lobby which number one is a strike if anyone asks you to come to a hotel lobby just be a little bit on your you know guard so the director presented her with the script and the contract that was in English so she signed the contract she knew that the role she had was kind of like a prostitute role but the director promised her that there was no uncomfortable scenes no naked scenes nothing erotic later she found out reading the script and the contract thoroughly with the friend who spoke two languages English and Korean she found out she had to do some of the most erotic uncomfortable scenes she didn't know this was going on until someone double checked for her so always have a lawyer a parent a friend who speaks bilingual languages please have someone there with you if you are signing anything I'm gonna move on to the night scene and drugs but if you guys know in the media there's a club called B that's been all over the Korean media because a famous celebrity owns this club and it got exposed for doing drugs, sexual harassment. I never thought it was dangerous going out because I've always went out with my friends. I actually been to that club B once and obviously I didn't experience anything bad, but it's more dangerous than I thought. There was this one time when I was out with my friends, someone that I knew has offered us candy. It looked like rock candy. It looked like crushed up rock candy. It was red. It tasted like strawberries. I thought nothing of it. Thank God I decided to go home early that day because I was just tired. And in the taxi, I felt super weird. I felt jittery. I felt like my heart was beating really fast. And for some reason, I just felt happy. When I went home, that is when this drug has literally effed me up. I felt like I was about to die because my heart was racing so fast. I felt so paranoid. I felt like someone was watching me. Like my body was shaking like this for four or five hours and I had the phone in my hand about to call emergency. Thank God the next day it just wore off. Till this day I don't even know what drug that was. So it is so important not to take any candy from anyone, even someone that you know. I didn't know this was gonna happen to me, you know, so definitely be very careful when you're going out. Also, if you're thinking about getting a part-time job 
please be careful there was this one time when before when I was a trainee I wanted to get a part-time job because I was so sick of eating convenient food all day every day and there was this one job where it was offering hundred dollars a day for just like a couple hours of work I was like ooh, too good to be true right so I went to the interview it was in a nice neighborhood so I didn't think anything bad of it in this building there was no windows and you know usually in cafes and restaurants you could see the door and what's inside the store apparently um, this door was like wooden and I couldn't see anything through it until I opened the door when I went in the first red flag was the whole room was like red it was red walls it was red carpeting but okay second weird thing was there were stalls so you can't really see what the other chair or other tables are doing I'm like okay Maybe they like privacy. I went in for the interview and this lady came to interview me and it was weird because she wasn't really asking me like how many experiences do you have? She wasn't asking me the normal questions. She was just kind of very vague. Another lady came in to watch my interview. They both weren't smiling. They just had this weird stare and I just felt like they didn't like me. But at the end, I got the job and I told my manager because I have to tell him that I'm working part-time job. He automatically say no 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 that's not the kind of job that you're thinking about later on I found out that it was kind of like a talking bar I didn't know talking bars even existed but talking bars are basically where the girls dress sexy and you're basically catering to your customers I don't know what really happens in there you know so if you're not the type to get one of those jobs be careful now going into sex scandals if you know or you may not know but in the western sex tapes sex scandals not in all cases but there's a lot of famous cases where you become famous but usually in korea your reputation is over the public opinion has changed no broadcasting companies will hire you did you know that most of these celebrity sex tapes are released by ex-boyfriends yes usually it's the ex-boyfriends that blackmail them and it could be you especially if you're an aspiring singer or entertainer so i just want to say be careful who you date there were people that i've dated i've seen people date where they just changed 360 like this and it's just mind-blowing how people could just blackmail you for money, for stay with me kind of threats. Recently, I think there was this announcer in Korea who got in into the sex scandal and her reputation just went down the drain. It was just over. But it got me thinking, a lot of these girls are victims. A lot of these sex scandals weren't done by themselves. It was usually by petty ex-boyfriends that wanted to blackmail them. So I just want to say let's not be too quick to judge or have a negative dirty mind when it comes to these celebrities who's gone into these scandals. You know, because everyone has a story. They might be victims themselves. They might not be in that situation because they wanted to. So it's very scary in the entertainment industry who you hang out with, who you're friends with because people will literally try to bring you down. So anyway, I hope you guys kind of gotten a new perspective, new opinion, and you're not awkward talking about this topic. I want you guys to comment down below what you guys have thought about this whole topic. Did you find it interesting? Do you have different opinions about it? What do you think? I told you guys my secret to confidence, which is reading self-development books. So go to audible.com slash crazy grace or text crazy grace to 500 500 to get your first audio book. Guys, I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye!